The workout starts with the kettlebell dumbbell on the floor. When the beep sounds, both athletes will pick up their kettlebell and dumbbell and bring it to the front rest position. The two athletes perform as many synchronized reverse lunges as they can. You can switch with your buddy when needed. The synchronized moment is when you are standing tall. When you finish the synchronized reverse lunges, you continue with the 100 synchronized kettlebell dumbbell Russian swings. Again, you may switch with your buddies when needed. The synchronized moment is when you have the kettlebell or dumbbell on the height of your eyes. Then you start all four together with the 20 synchronized burpee broad jumps over the 1 meter mark. Once you've finished all 20s, you write down the tie break time. Then two athletes pick up their kettlebell or dumbbell and start with the 100 synchronized hang snatch. The synchronized moment is when you have the kettlebell or dumbbell in a full lockout overhead. You may switch with your buddy when needed. Then you will continue with the 100 synchronized toes to kettlebell or dumbbell. The synchronized moment is when both feet touch the kettlebell or dumbbell at the same time. Again, you may switch with your buddies when needed. Then you will perform all four together, the last set of the 20 synchronized burpee broad jumps over the one meter mark. Once you've finished all 20, you write down the final time. It starts with two athletes picking up their kettlebell or dumbbell and bring them to their shoulder in a front rack position. You may support the kettlebell or dumbbell with your free hand, but you cannot hold it with two hands in front of you. Both athletes will take a step backwards and drop their back knee down to touch the floor. Then both athletes will step forward again and stand up with a full hip and knee extension and bring the feet together. The synchronized moment is when both athletes are standing tall. If one athlete is there before the other, wait till the other athlete is also standing tall. It starts with two athletes picking up their kettlebell or dumbbell and swing it back through their legs. Then the athletes will push the hips up and forward and the kettlebell will swing upwards. For a rep to count, it has to reach the height of the eyes of the athlete while being fully extended in the hips. The synchronized moment is when both athletes have the kettlebell or dumbbell at the height of their eyes. If this repetition is done incorrectly, then you will have to redo that repetition. It starts with four athletes standing tall, then all athletes will go down to the floor where hips and chest are touching the floor. You may do this jumping or stepping back and forward. When all athletes are back up again, you will finish the movement with a jump over the one meter line. You may perform the broad jump sideways or forward, but it always has to be done with a two feet takeoff and landing. The synchronized part is when all four athletes are down on the floor. It starts with the kettlebell or dumbbell on the floor. Both athletes pick it up and stand with the legs and hips extended. From there the repetition can start. The two athletes will bring their kettlebell dumbbell from below the hips directly up overhead. You may do this with a muscle snatch, a power snatch or a squat snatch. For a rep to count, the kettlebell or dumbbell has to be overhead with a full lockout of the arm and in one line with the body with the legs and hips fully extended. Every time a new repetition starts, the kettlebell or dumbbell has to be below the hips and the arm must be fully extended before you can start the next repetition. You may switch your arms when needed, just don't put the kettlebell or dumbbell on the floor. It's always from a hang position. The synchronized moment is when both athletes have the kettlebell or dumbbell in a full lockout overhead. If one athlete is there before the other, wait till the athlete is also with a full lockout overhead. It starts with two athletes lying on the floor on their back. The hands are holding on to the kettlebell or dumbbell. The athletes will start with their legs fully extended on the floor and then they will bring their feet up to the kettlebell or dumbbell. For a rep to count, both feet must touch the kettlebell or dumbbell at the same time. 
You can choose your own grip as long as the kettlebell or dumbbell is touching the floor at all times. The synchronized moment is when all four feet touch the kettlebell and dumbbell at the same time. If one athlete is there before the other, wait till the other athlete's feet are also touching the kettlebell. And then you finish with your last set of 20 repetitions for the synchronized burpee broad jumps. Good luck!